All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Snow Panda Gaming and to Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, we left off last time with uh, a bit more movements to the residential show, and we are also gonna continue this way because there's demand. For example, these like if you see these pop-ups here, these don't have enough workers uh, simply because uh, these. Um, Residential, low residential areas only occupy one family, so you can see one one household. Like this house has four, five people living in it, and uh, the mod I have for the uh, population rebalance is making that these industries like have like this one has twenty two workers needed. So none of these are actually full. So we really need to build more residential to get more people here. So these shops and industries won't go bankrupt. I will build one more, I think, here. We could actually do something more interesting. Hmm. Starting from here, something like that. and then we'll follow the and then follow the, the highway line. Not the most beautiful thing, I think this is a bit silly. Something like that. Alright. Uh, okay. People already have water, so let's just build a residential here. I usually want to use this fill tool, it's really nice. It will fill all the continuous uh, squares, but I've seen a lot of people use different tools, but I like that one, and I'm sticking with it. So, let's fill up these. Hopefully I can use the fill tool because it would just fill the whole thing. And I want to save these for uh, commercial. We just don't have need for it, so I'm not going to fill the commercial yet. So, I think I'll leave this as they are. I'm gonna build anything here. Oh. oh, the question about noise pollution though. You can see it. It's uh, the button. Pollution, wind. Oh, this. Noise pollution. So, as you can see, all the industry and uh, energy production and commercial and roads will create a lot of noise, which is something people can get sick of and die, actually. So you can, there's a few ways you can prevent that. You could, we could actually build some trees here, which would prevent that uh, from here. We're supposed to have the tool for the brush. Can't see it now. Maybe it's not anymore working. It's a few years old. So you could basically build two trees. That's, that that would help. The other choice is to build uh, sound barriers for your highways, which is something I'm not sure we have available. Nope, can't build anything. But there are a three lane highway with sound barriers. That creates a lot, little wall here, which prevents that. So I guess we'll go with the trees. Not gonna build any residential here, we can just build some cactus. 
shame that the tree brush didn't work. It's a really good tool. I personally don't have any idea what sort of uh, what type of trees Nevada has, but I would assume something that can withhold the heat. These are not that expensive, I think it's about yeah, ten ten simoleons per tree. We could also have a pathway here, why not walk around the trees, live here, for example, we could actually take the snapping tool away, it's a bit clumsy with the paths. Do we want gravel paths or pavement? I think gravel is good. Intersections, so people can actually use this path. Or something. Not sure if they will, but you know, at least we're giving them the opportunity to do so. People are actually surprisingly not lazy in this game. I mean, they will actually use these um, uh, walkways if they can. That is nice. We can have some more. Uh, more. I forgot to start my walk there. Oh well. I had my uh, friend commenting on on my uh, Crusader Kings two video where I was like, well, I'm gonna try to keep this to 30 minutes, and then that was like 68 minutes or something. So I've started using a clock to measure because, you know, when you're having fun, time flies. So... Oh, that's a big tree. Jeez. Sure. Doesn't look really good. Giant redwood. Okay. Oh. These are also props, mostly from um, or assets. I guess, I guess is the right term from Steam Workshop. So as you can see, a three brush would be very handy here, but uh, sadly it's not working currently, at least the one I have, I might, I might try to find a, a new one from Sting Russia uh, later on. So now with this forest here, the uh, noise pollution should be contained here, just like acts like a barrier, more or less, so 
That is good. For these residential areas. Uh, everybody has water, that's good. But I do feel like we have so many people, we probably need a new elementary school as well. No, we don't. Oh, we have two. Alright. My bad. My bad. How about high school? Yeah, we don't have that yet, so... We could build that somewhere. I'd love you to have a, a good access to a good big road. So we could build it somewhere around these parts. What do we have the normal schools? We have there and there. That Those are like perfectly placed for this area. <laughs> Probably by accident. I think I'll buy a normal school here. Normal high, uh, high school, I mean. Yeah, let's build it there. Let's see, do. Let's see if I have anything. Open here. I have some parking lots which I've uh, gotten from the Steam Workshop. Um, I could use those. <laughs> Mint has its own parking lot somewhere, I think, yeah, here, but, you know. More is merrier. Looks a bit weird, though, with that road. But, oh well. Details, details, let's put them, a uh, nice... Nice tree here, I think I'll use the giant red... It's funny. So this school, we can actually rename these schools. If you have any suggestions, please comment on below. But I will name this um, Giant Redwood High School. Yes, they have one Giant Redwood. Let's see, we have 500 students, so yeah, not even near the capacity. That's good. As you can see, the people are upgrading. This is actually level two already. I think that's upgrading there. Yeah, or all, all the way to, up to level three. And uh, that's good. Later, we will have some uh, transportation opportunities to create bus lines. And like I said, I might do trams here. That might, might be a nice way to commute to the industry. But there's some still some way to go to the oil industry. Oh, we have Boomtown before that. Yeah, then we get transports and another area. An ore industry, that we don't have any ore. Some new uh, policies as well and some highway. These are all props which I have downloaded from uh, the Steam Workshop. So, a lot of <laughs> uh, highway props, particularly. And uh, ferries, it seems as well. And buses, cemetery, taxi, tram, geothermal heating plant. I think that's not needed because this is not a, or, or nor a boiler station, because this is not a map which has no or anything cold. And now we can get disaster response units finally because we are yeah we already had this one meteor and if this would have hit here you know that would have been nice and probably yeah, people would have died because we don't have a shelter yet but anyway people are slowly moving in we have about two thousand people now just noise now yeah it's working all right I'm not sure if it actually does anything, I just think it does. Uh, in real life it does, so, you know. Anyhow, I guess we could continue this way. Okay, build up the speed, actually. People will move in faster. I think there's no, no pointing 
going away from the grid. Works pretty well and it's pretty efficient and it's very American, so those are very good reasons to have it. Let's see, this is where this would meet, so let's do that. I feel like this should, should be all residential and then the commercial should be in between and then we have this specialty district here which is all commercial. Do they have enough workers? They do most of them. Most of them. That's good. Big bites. Yeah, I want some burgers now as well. Firehouse. Could build a recycling. No, I'm not gonna do that yet. Just save some money. We don't have that much money anyway. So four forty seems to be the cost, which is the uh, perfect amount. So align properly. We need, I think we need, well, we don't really need it, it's fine. I guess that these roads are a bit too close, also. Oh well. All good. We could use a park here somewhere. I think I'll build it in the next block. <laughs> and the connection road here. It will create, I think. Traffic lunch, which really not used needed now. And use these step as a main road. So these will have stop signs when entering. That's a pretty like equal size road, so I'm not gonna put them there, but I will put it there. Sure, if these need, I think not. We we have so little traffic still. That, you know, all of this I'm doing to optimize the traffic is actually for the future. It's not really needed now, but you know, it will save a lot of from a lot of headache in the future when we actually have cars to fill this these roads. Organic foods. M and H club. Alright, so slowly building up, I see. That's good. Maybe we do have, uh, let me see some statistics. There. So we have two and a half thousand population. We have workers that much, so it's we're actually under yet. We have weekly tourists, eight. That's interesting. There's something we could do here on policies. We haven't looked at this, but this is um, policies which affects certain uh, aspects of your city. And uh, uh, there's like, for example, parks and recreation. Good show, by the way. Makes your parks and plazas the envy of countries. So Increases land value, but uh, but I think it costs more. It doesn't actually. Interesting. There's this call thing called land value, which means that high le higher level buildings are built only on land that has high land value. So the more green this is, the more land value it has. You can increase it by uh, you know creating. Lots of parks and plazas and, and having education and good crime rate and, uh, and no pollution and, or noise, uh, stuff like that. It's a pretty hot day, 36 and point four. So it's good to have plazas where you can just cool off. Wish I could, wish I would have some, uh, I don't think I have any props for pools. 
that's something which would be nice, I think. Yeah. So, we could add a few... Uh, see, there's, there's actually a lot of industry demand, so we could do that as well. There's some room here. How far? I mean, we could come this way, or we could use it to fill up residential. We could actually do residential. I think it's more important to have a big room for residential and industry, because in this these mods I have, the industry has a lot of a lot more workers, so it doesn't need that much space. Anyhow, like I've done a bit of stupid things here. I might need to... Well, I don't need these as small as these, but maybe a bit smaller. Uh, uh, you know, looks nice. So let's do that for day. Whoa, there's a fire there. Are you really stuck on graphic light? I guess so. Do they don't have any electricity now? They do, okay, good. Oh, and we need to increase this. Okay. No, oh, let's build some industry area. We don't need that much more, but some more. That's good. Let's do this. Let's try that. Oh, wow. Building straight away. Frank fish sticks factor. Nice. Ice cube factor. Well, you need ice cubes. In this weather, goods unlimited. I think this is generally a pretty nice looking uh, game. Traffic is building up, but I think traffic is pretty good. Traffic flow 95%, that's pretty good. There's some traffic here in the highway, but that's something, something I can affect. And when we unlock the oil, we'll do that side. So. Alright, so let's continue with our diff road here. You know, most of these things are, are just <laughs> visual, so. so... Nothing that will actually affect gameplay. Alright, so, let's put some residential here. People moving straight up in. It's nice. Yeah, some commercial demand as well. Let's build a few more. Not too much. If you uh, overload these, they will just build up, and then they realize, oh fuck, we don't have any uh, like workers, and then they'll go bankrupt. You know, that makes me, no. I'll build it here. Something like that. Oh, 
to our main avenue here. That's all the commercial stuff. All right, we were we were looking about looking at policies. So yeah, what should we do? Power usage. So reduces electricity consumption, but more upkeep. That's not something I need. This is the same, but for water. Smoke detector significantly reduces the risk of fire, but upkeep this goes up by a lot. Well, we only have one firehouse. That could be good. Could be good. Something to keep in mind, maybe. Pet ban. Tired of watching your step to avoid animal droppings. <laughs> pa banning pets is a sure way to get rid of a problem. And again, you might be killing a fly with a sledgehammer here. I don't. I love, I love pets, so screw that. Smoking ban. All right, slightly increased health, happiness. People are happy when they smoke. Okay, I guess so. But this doesn't seem to have any effect. Uh, I mean, not not no negatives in it. Mortally increases land value around parks and plaza. Well, of course we can do that if it doesn't. Um, you know, make us pay more or something. Seems to, seems to not do. No. Schools out. Citizens will prefer working over education, and only a small portion of eligible citizens will go study in, in, in the university. That's something we could do if we want to do our, like a workers' paradise here. We could do like an oil industry, but there's a lot of oil, so all of that could be oil industry. We could make a lot of money from that. This is a look, a look on Green Cities DLC though, so <laughs> I, uh, I actually want to make the city a green city in the end, so we might not do that. And we don't have anything else uh, opened yet, so no point in looking at those. We have 40k now, that's nice, that's nice, very nice, but what we need is we're almost to the boom town and to our ore specialization, which is nice. And recycling. And buses, yeah, we'll probably create either buses or trams, probably both. Yeah. So oh wow. Suddenly there's a big demand on on uh, residential, so let's do that then. Right. Gonna continue with our something like that. How do we want to do this? We build it like this. The two lane roads, they don't really matter if you have uh, a lot of crossroads next to each other. These, especially with this going, uh, being a low density residential zone, it will never be clogged up with traffic. But if you, if I would change that to a uh, high density so you will have sky rises with hundreds of people were, uh, you know, living and then create problems. Alright, so, oh yeah, I was supposed to do a park here, but it was not my closet, I shouldn't even build a, oh, that's a huge park. Do a large playground, or maybe a small park. Yeah, it fits, so, it fits, so it sits, as the cats say. Um, but yeah. Uh, looks like I forgot to put my clock. I think we've done at least half an hour, so I'll stop here. 
So thank you for watching. Next time we will certainly get the Boomtown and then we will we can uh, build up on our uh, transportation, which is interesting. And some new policies and uh, going on from that. So we need uh, a couple thousand more people and then we can actually specialize in oil and get some uh, oil industry going. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.